So, welcome to uh, my video diary for the Off West End site, uh, and here I am in the dressing room at the National Theatre. Uh, very curious thing about the dressing rooms of the National Theatre, you can see everything. I wonder if we could just take a look out there. Let's have a little peek out there. And you see, there's a sort of wonderful courtyard thing going on. And if you go, you can go all the way around, you can see you can see everybody. You can wave to your compatriots on the other side. There's a young man getting himself ready over there, and then you can, you can, you can. It's just wonderful. It's like a sort of strange theatre in the round, but it's pre-show. And the other thing, the other great thing that happens here is that when a show is opening, when it's its first preview, and when it's its press night, we all bang on these windows, so that it, it just reverberates around. It's fantastic. Um, so that's where I'm at. And I'm in about week three and a bit of rehearsing George Bernard Shaw's St. Joan for the Olivier. The director is Marianne Elliott. The star is Anne-Marie Duff, both of whom I've worked with before. Anne-Marie on a shared experience uh, version of The Doll's House. They played her husband Torvald and she was the amazing Nora. Uh, we had a great time doing that. And then Marianne Elliott, who I've worked with before in Manchester, the Royal Exchange, my favourite theatre, as you know. Um, and it is um, four years, maybe five years since I've worked with her on the uh, Lorraine Hansbury play Le Blanc. How are rehearsals going? Well, uh, because I've had loads of time off. It's not a joke. Most actors, what they do is when they find out they've got a job, they're overjoyed. It's been ages, it's been months since I've been working. The first thing they do is find out what the days off are. I don't know why we do that, but we do. And uh, I've had loads of time off, but uh, it's getting to the nitty gritty part now. It's getting to the part where all the incredible intellectual religious arguments are being uh, unpacked in this fantastic play. It's going to be a very physical play too, not necessarily for me, because uh, there's a guy called Hoffish who is an amazing choreographer, but he's doing lots of stuff with chairs and objects. They're using that for battle scenes and scene changes. and It's going to look pretty spectacular. Um, and, uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing what that looks like. I haven't seen any of that stuff. Uh, the theatre is um, going to be in its favourite state for me. The Olivier is going to be open, completely open. I have played it when it's sort of set up as a proscenium arch. And I've got to say, I, I, I'm not comfortable in that sort of setup because it's like something very two-dimensional about it. You always have to sort of turn three quarters and it always feels slightly artificial. Whereas when it's open like that, you get the impression, at least, that you can really face somebody and, the, and a good majority of the audience can still see you. And that feels, feels more like sort of human contact. The other great thing you can do in the Olivier is turn out completely and still feel connected with the actor next to you. It's, it's a curious space, but one I really, I'm just growing in love with more and more. Uh, it's a big cast, almost as big as the Royal Hunt of the Sun cast, um, and it's uh, full of testosterone blokes. But then there's, uh, there's Marianne, to calm us down, and there's Amory, who is just going to be luminous, absolutely. She's what I would call a ferocious actress. She doesn't um, pretty herself. She doesn't mind showing the ugly part of her. And, uh, and I think that she is one of, if not the best actress of her generation. So, week three, and I'll let you know how it goes in week four, when I'm weeping and saying, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Which is what most actors do, week four. <laughs> 